What is up, everybody? I'm no Lex Given, and I wanted to do a little bit of a warm-up game here. Just start with Peter Pants to get the mind flowing, but I'm about to enter into day one of the tournament, so I figured I would do live commentary on this game. I'm a little pressed for time this weekend with the tournament, and then there's also a large Pokemon Go event, and uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to do two uploads a day, but what I'm thinking is I'll do uh, one upload on Saturday and then maybe throw this video up on Sunday uh, just to... because um, I can I can multitask and both play a warm-up game and do commentary here um, and then uh, just be able to, to focus really on the tournament and not divert too much of my time to... Um, like recording some post commentary or editing a Twitch stream. So this is what you're getting for your Sunday video. But I was, it's, I mean, possibly better, possibly worse than, than not having a video at all. I'm not sure. Um, but I figured people aren't really going to be struggling for Storybook Brawl content today. Um, those of you that aren't participating in the tournament can uh, go watch it at twitch.tv, um, day two of the tournament at least. Um, so, yeah, a little bit less content for me right now, um, just as I figure all that out. It's It's been a very, very busy week for me, too, um, so I'm surprised that I've been able to keep up with the two videos a day. Um, and again, that should last until about, um, probably, I could, it, it could last until the end of March. Um, and then we'll probably see me go back to one video a day, um, but we'll, we'll see. So, Peter Pants. Um, getting a nice little Peter Pants start here with a Brave Princess on turn three. I would like to pick up some more units from the shop. Could potentially uh, egg roll on Pants. That's not the craziest idea either. Um, we are against the Ghost, so I feel like doing something like just Frontline Brave Princess isn't the crazy idea. But I do want to lock for some of these things. Next turn, I probably go Vainpire, Vainpire plus Wormroot. So you know what? Let's do this, because I think I even might lock the Mummy again the following turn, depending on what else rolls in the shop, if we can find another... Um, evil uh, another good evil unit to pick up so i might want to have this shop cleared out some yeah that was a good call there to just frontline the brave and now against somebody that's possibly a little bit stronger though we'll see about that uh, i'll do this so next turn i get to pick up two three cost minions so wretched mummy and then one other thing or i could roll sell egg and pick up uh, a different three cost minion but i think that this is a um, a good way to play it here is lock the mummy. Uh, I've talked about this time and time again, but I really like evil strategies on Peter Pants. It just opens up a lot more treasures to be playable. Um, uh, Sting, Ancient Sarcophagus, Bad Moon, Eye of Ares. Those are all good once you're running mummies. And uh, the evil units synergize, I think, a little bit better than the good units, though... Obviously, Stag and Brave Princess is pretty good. Stag and Egg, get a 10-10. Uh, but yeah, I think that this is uh, is looking good. Just like to get in one warm-up game before the tournament stuff, and I don't think I'm going to be doing live commentary for those. I think I'm going to be doing post-commentary just so that I can max out on my concentration for the games. Uh, which also just means that I'm going to need to spend some time at the end of the weekend uh, recording for that, because that is going to um, need need additional work before I can just upload it. So hopefully all of that works out. think I'm going to shard this stag. That seems fine, and then probably pick up a lucky unless we get a creeper off of this shard. Let's see. No, we get a Wicked Witch of the West. Well, that is totally acceptable. And now we have to decide between Creeper and Lucky. And I think it's just Lucky on this one. And uh, a pretty reasonable stable of units here. Hopefully we can get the Brave Princess slaying soon. But 
If not, maybe could pick up like a Mad Mim or something to have that activate. Now that we lost the Stag, it's going to be a little bit tougher for it to slay, but it only has to get one slay over the like next four turns or so, and uh, we're not looking to cut it um, this turn or next turn, really. So not lacking this shop for the first time. This is the other reason, by the way, that I like playing evil is because you can shard of the Ice Queen. I've definitely made a lot of really good use out of that over my time playing Storybook Brawl. So, yeah, that's that's just one additional uh, incentive on pants. I did think about like playing a harder hero, like just taking the... Um, nice, we get the sleigh here. Taking the um, Pied Piper. Uh, but... I think it's fine. This will give me my first win of the day bonus as well. So, not uh, going to complain about that. Definitely grabbing Crystal Ball. And now, we actually have two Econ to roll and pick up threes. Not interested in Romeo. Not really interested in Doubly. Uh, so, I think we can roll again and pick up two threes here. I guess we could pick up Baby Dragon as well. Um... So if we... Ro I mean, I don't want Good Witch of the North, even with a Brave Princess that can be supported. Um, let's see. Excuse me. Um, maybe we could do this. Um, I mean, there are Tier 2 treasures that we could get. Runestones, questing, um, treasures, things that deal with gold. We'll take it. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's... Yeah, yeah. I could it see just being better. Roll two gold. Plus, if I find, like, a one-cost spell, like a pump-up vampire, like a, a witch's brew or sugar and spice, or even a magic research, uh, we're pretty strong right now. We are up against an undefeated Loki, so anything can happen. Kind of weird to put an announcement in this video, because by the time this video comes out, um, y'all have already probably figured out that I'm only doing two videos this weekend, one video a day this weekend, um, but I think that that's just going to be the easiest thing for my schedule. So we crack my opponent's egg, and then we are going to take seven damages, but uh, not too shabby, all things considered. We've got half of our combo. Let's, yeah, let's grab this, and now we can, like, pick up the stag and shard it, which otherwise would not give us... Um, too much value. Uh, sure, we'll take Fancy Pants and then shard this stag uh, after we grab the Cindy. Oh, right. We've got Ball as well, so we can shard this one too. And now we've got a ton of free stats. Um, could even potentially complete the Cindy, but I'd love to complete the Baby Dragon first, believe it or not. And this is obviously pretty fantastic, too. Well, maybe now I'm just selling Baby Dragon to complete on Spellweaver. That seems fine. Um, something like this. Probably put a ranged unit first. Actually, let's swap these two. Uh, lock this. Oh, no. Let's unswap them and then sell Baby Dragon and pump up Spellweaver. Do I want a True Love's Kiss on... Shadow Assassin, it's probably worth the gold just to start to send something up the chain already, and maybe that thing is actually Lucky or Cindy, because you can cast a um, your, your final spell on Cindy and get that active. So maybe that's what we want to do, but definitely feeling strong again here now that, now that we're not playing up against Loki. Uh, we won't crack the Lucky, so that's a little bit annoying, but maybe we just True Love's Kiss the Lucky as well. Maybe that's the play. Alright, so this is going to get the Fancy Pants, but that's fine. And do we find the hat already? Wowie zowie. Okay, um, so we don't even need any Tier 2 treasures. I mean, Runestones is fine, because then we can find a Tier 4. Let's just True Love's Kiss this. That's basically free. And we'll take the rune stones. Pretty great. All right, so now let's drop Fancy Pants. Now I'm just looking for Spellweavers, Wizards, Familiars, and um, uh, three Blind Mice. Uh, don't think that... Um, 
don't think that Princess White is worth it at this point. It's so early in the game for us to have half ball. Yeah, it's 4.2, I suppose. Um, maybe even 4. Point, yeah, I guess it's 4.1. Loki, Loki's up 2 XP, 1 a wish upon a star. Hmm. <laughs> no. Okay, we found another Spellweaver. That's pretty good. Um, I just wasn't super interested in picking up a bunch of dwarves because we don't need a bunch of dwarves. All we need right now is one treasure and it's on tier four. So picking up all the luckies and doublies and things, it would just be so much gold when we can complete this with any other tier four. If this was um, specifically the questing treasure, then yeah, I would have had to have gone for it, but it is not, so we don't. Pick up another little dragon. Yeah, we can take mummies, though. Mummies are fine. Um, do I want that, though? No, I think not, because we're also Hatball. Well, then, of course, we find another mummy and another vein pyre. Um, I think that we can still do better just hunting for the uh, really clutch treasures. And um, I'd love to pick up a Wizard's Familiar soon as well, which is part of the reason that we're rolling right now. There's an egg. I don't need Gingerbread House. Let's find the Wizard. Okay, no Wizard's Familiar this turn, but uh, definitely still feeling strong. Could put in Donkey over Lucky. I mean, Lucky gives us, like, effectively one gold which is interesting it could allow us to like pick up a pair of one of these two or even just pick up one gold and i think we're good enough that we don't need this yeah that was 4.1 this is 4.2 this turn because we haven't purchased any xp so um this loki's definitely going to be a doozy but uh, we'll see. They are also activating... Uh, lucky we cracked their egg, but they're activating um, uh, the Easter egg every turn. So good for them, to be honest. Um, it'll be interesting to see who wins. The player that casts every spell or the player that can only cast one spell a turn. If you are pants in a finals, one thing that I don't mind playing against is Loki. Fortunately, we're taking a little bit of damage against this Wonder Waddle. Hat Wand Wonder Waddle. Um, but yeah, okay, so like I said, this is just Econ, but then we get to grab this, and then we get to cast some spells. Baby Dragon for a tier three, don't need it. Mummy and Vampire again, don't need them. All right, I will take a mouse. I'll just sell a Baby Dragon. I don't really want a tier five treasure. I'd much rather grab a tier four, but I'm not going to shoot down a tier five either. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually throw some stats on this guy. All right, now we can send something up. We're not playing donkey, so let's send it. Ooh, that's a good one, though. Okay, let's play that here. And I want that as well. So I guess now I'm selling Lucky to pick up Wiz, and then by Candy Rain. I will cash in a Wizard's Familiar on the Runestones, though, and just grab a Tier 3 and skip it. Um, it's not super important that we make this Tier 3 thing happen. I'm just trying to use my gold as efficiently as possible every turn, too, which means not purchasing uh, additional copies of these things because I want to really put scaling into motion to beat some of these top lobby dogs over here uh, that are that are going to be our competition because um, not really fearing this uh, Queen of Hearts only from um, the Cursed King right now. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a kill onto Cursed King. And we're probably in the top three up against Loki again. But somebody played the ghost. Oh, no, we're up against Wonder Waddle again. All right, interesting. Let's grab a three blind mouse. Let's continue to look for the things that we love. Okay, awesome. This gives us a tier four treasure, which is 
fantastic and it's going to give us not a good treasure so I'm actually just gonna skip this and I think that that's fine and now we look for more whiz we'll see if this gives us a tier 4 that's why we skipped this does not it does give us a gloves of thieving which against wonder waddle could steal some good units I guess we go for it all right I'll take it and then I think I sell through blind mouse again just so that we can find it quicker and then I see some wretched mummies I'm not gonna go for either of those let's flip the donkey okay interesting let's cast some more spells okay that's decent and I'll skip and grab this three blind mouse again. Um, this should go first. This should go second. No, that should go in the middle. Mummy should go in the middle, but oh well. All right, we're going to get an upgraded good boy from my opponent, which is a reasonable thing to get. I would have loved to grab that Storm King or the Wizard's Familiar, potentially, but obviously not going to be too upset with a... Um, uh, what did I grab? An upgraded good boy. Yeah, not going to be too upset with an upgraded good boy. And a kill as well. So, drat. I thought we got the ghost there. Could spin this upgraded good boy, or I think we start spinning some of this other stuff. This unit's locked good, so let's throw this up the chain. Okay, a good dragon kind of interesting. Not really synergistic, but potentially works with gloves in an interesting way while also just being a decent unit so we'll see how that works out for us let's just continue to hat ball a little bit where do we want to be casting this i feel like at this point in the game mummy okay and we have to figure out the rest of this ordering. Maybe I'm just playing... Yeah, I think I'm just playing a Wicked Witch. And then uh, going to sell Vain Pyre, pick up Spinning Gold and Blind Mouse. I think that's the play. All right, not feeling super confident against Loki, but hopefully we can, like, snag a Court Wizard through the Dragon which, or Romeo, um, either of which could take out potentially a lot of Loki's power, but this is an undefeated Loki still, and we are going to take out a Romeo, so not bad, not bad. Um, there are more good boys up for grabs if we get rid of this dragon, um, but it's kind of a scam. We did kind of a scam on him, uh, and uh, the upgraded good boys actually just going to be able to win us the fight, so nice. We get the spinning gold, we get first blood onto Loki and we get a Romeo which is technically playable because it's a good unit so I'll throw that in we're up against the ghost we're gonna steal like a queen of hearts or something irrelevant okay so not nothing to get too excited about over there might even try to sub out the yeah let's let's flip Romeo we don't need that okay now we can Yeah, do this to Romeo. It's not a Romeo any longer, but... Okay, we're getting some more good stuff. This is nice. This is also just, like, a sweet and strong turn. Oh, I still have so much gold. Let's, let's roll through this a little bit faster now. Haha. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to run out of time on this one, unfortunately. But maybe we can purchase another Spellweaver? I don't have a tree. Not going to worry about it right this second. Um, let's bank some gold, kidnap. Um, I don't actually have a monster. So let's let that roll on by. Um, weird board here for sure. But... Yeah, we just get like two copies of that uh, Evil Queen. This one is not going to be um, a great combat for our kidnaps, but that is totally expected 
and totally fine. And now I really got to make sure this is why we do the warm up game, get the brain flowing. Uh, just woke up before the tournament, and now we got to figure out how to play some Storybook Brawl. Loki lost again. We get another tier four treasure. This is going to be not Forking Rod. Um, what can we steal backline from Wonder Waddle? Oh, yeah, so much stuff. Okay, we skip this. Uh, we sell this, buy these for econ. Okay, can we get this in? Probably. Can we grab another Wizards Familiar? Probably. Another Blind Mouse. Okay, this goes on this. Wow. Okay, weird. Weird, but wow. And interesting. Another Spellweaver starts to look interesting, too. I'm just throwing all the stats on Good Boy. feel like I can't really go wrong with that. Um, I like this pair of dragons. I think they're pretty cool. All right, let's flip this so that way we get to keep it. Mm, sure, I'll end with a Spinning Gold. Um, oh, I want this, too. Beauty's Influence on the Spellweaver when we are playing with good boy so lightning dragon obviously a little bit awkward with good boy i'm sure i've said that before but what isn't awkward is stealing my opponent's spell weaver now we get to turn that spell weaver good actually and now good boy starts to look quite good with our back line of spell weavers and it's a nice nice little thing to be balling with we're going to take out this storm king do we win this combat though uh, we almost tie. We just barely lose this. So, lose the spinning gold, take nine damage, and continue to play here. I um, think I'm going to just sell the white. Yeah, let's do that. All right, good boy, take, take everything. Take everything. Take what you want. I've got nothing to cast Witches Brew on. That's funny. Okay, do I have a monster? I don't. Let's just buy a Blind Mouse, though. Against the Loki, we're just stealing, like, Romeo. That's not super important. Uh, don't care about that. Okay, yeah, we can flip this. Um, it's not super great. Possibly just play this. I'll have to think about that. I'll probably find another True Love's Kiss, actually. I will take Forking Rod, especially while we're up against the Loki, because I don't particularly need that right now. Um, and then, sure, I'll just go for this. 15, 15. It is a good unit. We could put it in instead of the Dragon, actually. But I think this is fine. Just play a bunch of good ranged units and... Uh, Feel pretty confident about that. Put in as a fireball, but that's not going to be enough. And uh, lightning dragon, also not going to be enough. But uh, good boy should be enough to get the win now. Though they're going to get first attack with Sherwood Sure Shot. So that is a little bit awkward, but I think we just have too many ranged units in the back line for my opponent to deal with. Nice. So seven damage onto Loki. We get the ghost now, right? Our turn. Yep, thank you. I'll take this. And mainly looking for spell weaver and spells. Could have taken the chicken, but don't care enough. No monster still. That's fine. Wow, to pick up forking rod and then not find a single spell is awkward. Um, might be time to mix a whistle wizard's familiar. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Uh, let's just try to find a True Love's Kiss. Yeah, I think we just roll for True Love's Kiss here. And settle for a Genie's Wish. Okay. So. I don't think that this copycat is worth 
doing anything with, especially up against the ghost. Let's just, uh... Oh, let's actually just play... No, 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 it's huge. It's huge. The goal is to polywoggle or true love's kiss our wizard's familiar into a good unit rather than a neutral unit. Could probably switch these spell weavers at some point too, but... Up against the ghost, not a super important thing. Um, I kind of just didn't want to mess around with the order of my units for next turn, so that way we don't have to put anything back. And is Loki dead? Yes. Okay. So Loki's dead. We now really want to find some... Holly Woggles and True Love's Kisses. mix -a whizzles I mean. mix -a whizzles uh, But a second place is not the worst place either. You don't really need Wizards Familiars, especially with this good boy. Um... <clears throat> so I feel a little bit awkward selling for Spellweaver here. We could... Double sell for Spellweaver, skip, purchase Black Cat, and then put Beauty's Influence on Black Cat. E yes. Don't love giving up the Shoulder Fairies, but we've got other better targets. This is kind of a silly play, but seems fine, all things considered. Yeah, because it potentially allows us to... Okay, we're locking We're locking these mix of whistles. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the right play. But, I mean, yeah, we made a, a 62-54 out of Black Cat. Um, it's really just going to come down to us having more ranged units than my opponent. I think that could be really helpful. Uh, but they are going to get first ranged attack which means that now we trade and we take seven here, but they don't have ball. So that is like our one saving grace. And now we have to figure out exactly what we're doing this turn. Let's make this into a six. All right, Lordy's very silly. But now let's, now let's send this up the chain and see if we can't make this into a good unit this turn. Okay. Stats on the good boy, always good. Okay, this sends it up. Will it be a five? It will not be. We can switch this into something else. Okay, that's a good unit. That continues to be a good unit. And now we can make this into potentially another good unit as well. That's a good unit. Okay. Um, we can do better than Black Cat, um, but maybe not right this second. Like, should I just take Sherwood Sure Shot so that it's another ranged unit? Probably. I'm going to put stats on the other good boy because this good boy is too big. Okay, that's a cool one. And Kidnap to steal their good boy. No, they're not playing good boy again. We steal their Storm King, which is actually irrelevant to us now. We probably actually just steal a monster book. Ooh, they... Double Pigo. Not a triple Pigo, but a double Pigo. But we've got these insane good boys. Unfortunately, they take out Sure Shot, which is a little bit annoying. But they also take out Good Boy, which I think these good boys are going to be enough to win. Yeah, 1k Spellweavers. I think so. Nice. Okay, so we're going to hit them for 9 this turn. And luckily, these are kissed good boys. These are real actual factual good boys right now so now we stole two storm kings i don't even think these are playable uh but if we steal one more storm king maybe we can do something with them uh do i want to buy a sure shot just for i mean i probably should have bought a sure shot because it's a monster we can flip this thing still uh we can still find another like good boy out of this potentially so just throwing some more stats on it is good okay Sorry, was just going in the tank there, thinking a little bit. Dragon is reasonable. Um, I'll go for this here. Okay, well, that's kind of cool, too. Uh, actually, it's probably not better than this.
Yeah. Interestingly, we're like seeing the same units over and over again, which is kind of a thing that I've heard people talk about in the past. Okay, well that could be nutty. Let's throw that here. Um, sure, I'm gonna roll one more time and cast this on. I don't think I got it actually. Yeah, I don't think I got it. But this Echo Wood gets to insane proportions and probably makes it really, really dang tough for us to lose if my opponent ever even gets past my front line. But at some point we gotta make everything upgraded as well, just so that we deal a little bit more damage to my opponent, but that's just part of the problem with being Peter Pants. Uh, does look like we have found the way to win this, though. Oh, and now we've got a tree, so that's nice. Um, let's definitely hang on to... You know what, let's, let's start to flip these Storm Kings, because maybe we could find a good boy in there. We don't have a monster, right? Okay, yeah. We don't have a monster. We are the monster. This is an evil unit now, but I don't care. Let's play this ranged. I think we did it. I think we did it. So pretty nice warm-up game. Hopefully I am able to put some nice stuff together in the tournament today as well. So feel free to uh, cheer me on, either in spirit or in actuality. What do you think? I think we just play a ranged unit. I mean, either way, this gets attacked. It's just getting eaten by, like, a Storm King or a Monster Book. Because uh, that Monster Book's an 80 attack, 6 health. So don't think it really matters. And, um, yeah. We just have to not get scammed by my opponent's Pigos. And we have to not get scammed by their monster book. But we definitely have more stats. They do have a Medusa, so that's actually going to take away a considerable amount of our stats. So good on my opponent for that one, but the Echo Wood's still strong. Let's see, can they scam the Echo? Looks like no. So Echo is safe, but I don't think we have enough stats on this one. Let's see. Okay, we're bigger than this. If it attacks into Echo Wood, that would have been really good. This one's going to be a tie. All right, well, don't underestimate the Wand and don't underestimate the Medusa either. But obviously that was like the best possible attack for their Medusa. Um, what do we want to send up? Let's do this because it's already turned good. Not doing anything with that. I guess we do consider wanting more stats onto... Oh, that's my alarm to wake up for the tournament. We do want more stats on this good boy. Wait. 14, 19. This can kill their Spellweaver in the back line. It's probably good enough. I probably still want my ranged unit getting in first, but... Um, Doom Breath, I think, might be better than a ranged unit in the last position. Um, this is worth it, I think. Um, sure, I'll end on a roll. And I'll lock a Luna's Grace for next turn. All right, hopefully my opponent does not get to scam us this time. And they double Pigo, so that's definitely a start. They triple Pigo, and they Medusa attack, not the good boy. So that is going to probably be enough to allow us to win. Tough to say, but the good boy is obviously quite good. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we got a, we have a 1k uh, Echo Wood, but still, their Storm Kings are getting bigger. We are going to just barely grab the win. So, really sweet game. Epic Finals. Yeah, I should definitely give my opponent an emote there. Um, didn't get it in time, but oh well. Other than that, we played this game perfectly. Really crazy finals with myself, Loki, and Wonder Waddle. That was a really fun one. I'll try to reach out to my opponent if they're on Discord or anything. But um, really fun game. Feeling refreshed and awake for the tournament. And uh, hopefully that all goes well. But by the time you're watching this, I guess you already know. But hopefully you enjoyed this sweet game. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm No Lex Given. Peace.